So you want to learn how to import conversions into Google Ads? Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you step by step exactly how to get that done so you can save money on your ads and you can allow the Google AI to put you in front of the best customers. All right. So you definitely want to stick with me all the way through this video so you don't miss anything. Now, my name is Rakeem Madison. And with that being said, we're going to jump right into today's content all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and look over here on the left side tab and we're gonna go all the way down until we see settings you're gonna click settings and instead of campaign settings we want to go ahead and click on account settings now it's two things that we're gonna change on this page the thing that you want to make sure that's on is auto tagging make sure it says yes right there just like mine's and then also just make sure this is good to go then hit save the next step is you want to make sure that the time zone that you have on your Google Ads account matches the time zone you have for your Click Magic campaigns project. That's very, very important. So in this case, you can't change it. Once you set up your Google Ads account, doesn't matter if it's a year ago, two years ago, three, four, five, six years ago, you can't go back and change your time zone. So in this case, whatever your time zone says right here, you want to go over here to Click Magic, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So you want to make sure you click on campaign so it can bring you to this view. Then you want to go ahead and click on the little pencil right here. And then you want to go to set time zone. So then you want to set your time zone to that time zone. So you see this says Pacific and then you can see mine says Pacific. So we'll be good to go at that point. And then you'll go ahead and hit change time zone and then you'll be good for that. Now we're going to go to the next step. So you see this little wrench over here. You want to go ahead and click that wrench and then you want to go ahead and hit on measurement and then you want to click on conversions. Now over here you see all the conversions that I've set up. So what you want to do is very similar to how you probably already done your conversions in the past, but there's a slight difference. So you want to go ahead and click on this little plus and instead of going to website, app or phone calls, you want to click on import because what we're going to do is we're going to import our conversions inside of Google ads. So then we're going to click on other data sources or CRMs and then we're going to click on track conversions from clicks. Now notice that says requires editing your website code to capture click IDs. OK, this is going to be very, very key for saving you, you know, money on your ads and allowing the AI to really find people who are going to be the best leads and customers for you all right so now let's go ahead and click on continue all right so this is a very very important part so make sure you're listening so this conversion name it has to be the conversion name that you set up when you were setting up the website code so if we go over here to click magic campaigns when you were in the process of setting everything up and adding the code to your website uh, let's actually take you to that process right so you went ahead you put this click tracking code on your website then you went to set up a conversion tracking code, right? Well, at this point, let's just say that I'm trying to track for leads. Usually I, I use like actions uh, for leads. Now, in this case, let's say, for instance, I put Webby lead, right? Let's, let's say that that was the name of my thing. Whatever name that I put in this ref box is the name that that, that, need, that needs to be the name of when whatever you set your conversion action up as. So you see right here, conversion name, I'm literally going to paste that same name in there so everything can kind of go, go how it needs to go. All right, so that's the conversion name. And to, and to finish off this conversion action, uh, for the value, I'm just going to choose don't use a value. Now, of course, if you're tracking sales and you have you know, uh, control of your entire funnel, then of course set up the values. But in this case, I'm just using don't use the value. All right, so if you can see right here, this is the count. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose one. And then I'm just gonna leave this at 90 days. Um, you can adjust it to however you want to. If you want 30, 60 or whatever, you could do that. I'm just gonna leave it how it's set up. And I'm just gonna hit create. Uh, let me make sure I got the right one up here. Okay, Webby lead. So I'm gonna hit create and continue. So at this point, the conversion action is good. So I'm gonna hit done. Okay, now the other step is you have to be able to get the data from Click Magic to upload into Google Ads, right? Now, how you're gonna do that is you're gonna go back over to Click at Click Magic. I'm gonna hit the X on this. Now you wanna go ahead and go to the wrench over here, and then you wanna click on audience optimization. Now it's gonna pop up with the audience optimization screen, and I want you to see. What I'm, I want you to see this. So it says audience optimization allows you to send your actual conversion data back to the ad networks. Now, here's the thing I want to tell you about that. The, the data that you're getting from like Google ads or Microsoft ads and whatever ad platform you're using, 
they're not giving you accurate data, right? Because they can't track every single part of your funnel. When people are, you know, scheduling calls, they don't know what's going on in the background. When people are signing up from emails and all of those different, like they can't see that entire process, right? So imagine if you could uh, upload your conversions and then now all of that is within that process, your ads are going to be a lot more dialed in and you're going to be able to save money on your ads, right? So that's why this is even something you should be doing, right? All right, so now this is this is my campaign. So what I'm going to do, um, as you can see over here, let me go back to Google Ads real quick. And these are the seven conversions that I've uploaded so far. Now, if we go back, let me let me go back over here real quick to campaign so you can see something real quick. So if you see, I have, I started this on April 14th and uh, today is the 17th. So I did it for that, that span, right? Now this campaign is still running, but what I want you to pay attention to is visitors, it was 57 and eight leads, right? Now, in this case, if you look over here, there's seven conversions, of course, because I'm uploading them. But if you look at the clicks, it's only tracking 51 clicks and I got 57 clicks. So that's six clicks that's not even accounted for. So that's that's the type of stuff that I'm talking about. And you probably watching this have seen that some of the data just doesn't match up. That's because the ad networks don't give you every single thing because it's very difficult for them to track through all the pixels and certain things like that, right? So that's where, you know, having a tool like Click Magic comes in to be able to track this data for you. So now let me show you, let me go back to showing you where you need to go. So you click on the wrench and then you click on audience optimization. Okay, so now I have it on Google Ads. So now remember what I said, since I will be tracking actions, you may be tracking engagements or sales, right? But it's the same exact process. So since I was tracking actions, I want to make sure that I have it for the dates that I want to pull in the, the, uh, the conversions. So since I already got seven and I know that today is the 17th, I'm going to set it for today so I can get the conversion that I had from today. Now I've already downloaded this data and I'm about to show you right here. So here's my, here's my, uh, my CSV and this is how it comes. So it comes with a Google click ID. So this is the Google click ID and then this is the conversion name. So there, you see what I was talking about? This is why this is important. So whatever conversion name is right here, that's what it needs to say in Google. So I'm about to show you exactly how to upload this. Let me make sure I have this saved um, on my computer. Okay, we're good to go. All right, let me hit continue real quick. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Google Ads, all right? So now what you wanna do is you wanna go back to the wrench and you wanna click on measurements and you wanna click on conversions again. All right, so now what you wanna do is you wanna click over here to where it says uploads and you're gonna be able to see that I've already uploaded some and I had a couple of errors when I was doing it um, the first couple of times because I, I was missing that specific point that I was talking about with the conversion name. So now you can see I have one that's finished successfully and you can see there's the seven conversions that I uploaded into it. And so now I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus. I'm going to go ahead and click on select source, upload a file, and then select the file that I downloaded to my computer. So hopefully it's showing up as the first one so we can get this out of the way. Okay, so there we go right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit open. And then all I'm going to do is just hit apply and it should go without any errors er errors. So just give it a couple of minutes and let's see how it goes. All right. So boom, there it is right there. Finish successfully. One successful. We good to go. So it may take a take a couple of hours or it may take a little bit to show up uh, under the conversions or it might be right there, right there from the jump. All right, so yeah, it's gonna take a little minute to actually show up. So just give it a couple of hours and everything should be good to go. So with that being said, uh, hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also drop me a comment down below with any additional questions that you have. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.